Hmm. All right, I'm just testing this out. I want to see how this going live thing works. Um, all right, this is my studio. Part of my studio, at least. The part that you can see. I am working on six foot painting right now, which I have been filming and look forward to sharing with you guys. So, um, what are some kind of things you wanna talk about real quick? We'll see who's here. Hi, what up, hello, hola, hi. Hi from NC, hello. Hmm. I've done the Instagram live thing, I've never done the YouTube live thing, so I'm very curious how this thing's gonna work. Um, I can't pick up my computer and walk around the room to show you the studio, so that kind of sucks. Let's talk about sketchbooks. Who keeps a sketchbook? I mostly draw in little sketchbooks. I have these ones, which are my own. And then I have these ones. Ah, if I can get it. I keep in my back pocket. And almost all my painting ideas go through this phase. And as you can see, I don't draw very detailed. Everything's kind of just the ideas, the nuggets. I have fun in this sketchbook right now. And a lot of times, the ideas start off like that, and then they turn into big paintings. Like this one right here is going to be a big painting I can see in the future. Um, and then sometimes I just draw graffiti letters over and over because that's where my head goes. And that's what I want to be doing a lot of the times. What else do I got in here? Yeah, just a bunch of quick sketches. Then I refine the quick sketches and those become paintings. What else can I show you guys from a YouTube live video? That won't be too boring. Uh, you guys want to see one of my toys? This is a toy we made from the stop motion movie we have on YouTube as well called I'm Scared, the movie. You guys should type that in and go see it. Worked with an amazing team and made a five minute stop motion project. This is the main character, Ralph. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll figure out if I can link it in here, but it's pretty easy. Just type in the search Crayola and I'm Scared, or I'm Scared, the movie will pop right up. Let's see what other toys are. Here's one of my dunnies if somebody wanted to see that. Um, anyways, let me read through some of uh, the stuff right here, see if there's anything I can answer real quick before I check out of here out of this test. Hi from Brazil. Give us a quick overview of panel prep. I actually have a video um, of how I prep all my panels. It's on Trekel's site on their YouTube channel, uh, T-R-E-K-E-L-L. -E um, I go over the whole thing from sand, from gessoing, sanding, gessoing, sanding, using matte medium and all that stuff. So just search on their, their YouTube page and you'll find it. Uh, what else do we have? Greetings from Russia, hello. Hi from Bangladesh, how are you doing? Uh, let me see. What happened to the ruled notebooks? I still use those. Um, it's awesome, the painting in the background is going to be, I have a few more weeks on that one, but that's a few days on that so far. Let's see if I can, this little section, well, where is it? It's gonna be a sky. I'm not gonna say much more of what's going up there, but it's gonna be fun. What inspires you when you hit a wall? Um, painting letters, that's pretty much all I wanna do on walls is do graffiti, I don't wanna do anything else. Um, have you ever tried open acrylics? Yes, I actually have a set of them right here, which I've had for the past 15 years. I don't know where I put them, I think I gave them away. And I don't use them, I, don't, I didn't like them when I used them, so I stopped using the open acrylics. I probably should give them another another uh, run, another test, see if I'd like them now. 
but I really like using the paints that I use. And so there's less surprises. Hello from Serbia. Hello. Uh, open mediums. I just did the video on the, the medium that I like to use. If you want to check it out, it's in my, my videos. Talk about vision and or imagination. That's the toughest thing. You can't teach imagination. That's the kind of thing that you just either have or you don't or it, or it grows over time and how you attach it to your work. I just remember being a little kid and having freaky nightmares and then just weird daydreams all the time and would try to draw what I saw, but I never could really accomplish it that well. But I, I never stopped. So eventually some of my, my art skills caught up to it. I'm still trying to get there. I'm still learning, but it's it's more fun to be able to show what's dancing around inside my head these days than when I was a kid. Um, do I still have my brush set for sale? Yes, I have links to that in um, my Medium video, which is two, media, two videos in. There's a link to my paintbrushes. It's also at Trakel under the pro team section. I heard the interview where you were playing around with painting with oils. Are you still trying oils out? Yeah, I have a whole oil setup that I mess around with in between shows and I still enjoy it. Um, I wish I could make myself more time to use them, but I, I still I haven't carved out that amount of time to sit and really get involved into it. Are you still from CBS? Yes, I'm from CBS, WAI, and Lord's Crew, and also from Basher's Crew. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> I don't know what is. Oh, thanks, Brett Hess. I'm from Berlin. When you draw on your paintings, use a thin white line. Is that by brush or do you draw with pen? Oh, no, that's my, my friends at General charcoals and pencils sent me a bunch of these guys and it's just white charcoal pencil it's my favorite thing to draw on the canvas with because if you don't like what you draw you just wipe it right off and it comes off it doesn't show up under i'll give you guys one quick tip that i learned the hard way i used to draw my paintings on with prismacolors this is a bad idea the wax and the pigment inside the pencils bleeds through your acrylic paints so after i had finished the painting and varnished the painting at the very end, you could see the pencil lines through that I used to mark the painting up. And it was a really tough job trying to get rid of those. So don't use Prismacolors to draw your paintings on with. Use charcoal. Use pencil. Um, you can fix the pencil down with this stuff. It's a workable fixative. And after you put on your workable fixative, you get some of this stuff. I'm coming back over some matte medium, that's backwards on the screen, isn't it? And matte medium will lock your layer down. I always look at everything like it's a big Photoshop thing. I paint a section, I lock my layers down so it's not gonna move around and then I just move on up the layers. I work from back to front. So let's see some more questions real quick. Um, watching from London, very cool. When is your next superhero canvas? I don't know. I actually drew up a, a funny Spider-Man thing yesterday that I want to draw up nicer. Uh, hello from Detroit. What size do I like to work on the most? Gosh, this canvas behind me is pretty much up there, like the size I like to work on, six feet around that, maybe four to six feet. And then longer, like it could be eight foot. That'd be fun to work on. Scroll up, please. You want me to do this? That's in progress. So that has a lot of work to go into it still. All right. Do you photograph your own paintings? No. I take my paintings to my printer. They have a really good process of scanning each piece. So each piece goes gets the highest res possible scan. That way I can use it for books and magazines and prints later on. So each print looks identical to the original. That's one thing I'm really proud of with my printers. They, they nail it every single time. And they print on canvas, on paper, on aluminum. Um, had a really good round of working with them for way over 12 years. Uh, Marcos Fine Art 
is the printer. He scrolled up the camera, not the chat. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scrolling up. Will you keep this video up for a while so I can rewatch? I missed the bit about the fixative. I'm low key at work. I thought loud. Um, there's a whole video about the fixative. So, oh, sorry, not the fixative. I'm thinking the slow dry. Um, yeah, I'll keep this video up. I don't know how to do that. I'm still testing this out. So I'm going to probably end this pretty quick and see about just posting it up. Thanks for watching my first live stream. I'll try to figure out a way to do it more interesting next time. Or if you guys leave a comment and, you know, some stuff to talk about, maybe we can talk about some art mediums or some different tools and stuff like that. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching.